so continuing with my lecture sessions related to various models of microeconomic analysis today we are going to discuss the edgeworth model so for simple precise and easy lecture sessions related to bcom mba mcom and economics do like share and subscribe my channel the edgeworth model was developed by f y edgeworth in the year 1897 the main difference between the edgeworth and the bertrand model is that in bertrand model production capacity is unlimited whereas in case of edgeworth model the production capacity of the two firms is limited so we will discuss this model in detail in this lecture session these are the main assumptions of uh, this model there are two producers or the two firms in the market the products are identical the cost of production is zero market is equally divided between the two firms in uh, such a way that each firm, firm's demand curve is half of the total market demand it is also assumed that uh, if one firm changes its uh, price the other firm will not change its price based on these assumptions edgeworth model was developed in a given figure a and b are the two sellers or the firms ac and bc are the respective demand curves of a and b sellers whereas oc is the price the total market demand is divided between two firms a and b that is oa is equal to ob as assumed these firms cannot produce more than a2 and b2 because of their limited capacity now if the firm a first enters into the market it sells oa1 unit at oc1 price here the firm a earns oc1 da1 monopoly profits as shown as a shaded area in this case a1 lies the halfway of oa so this combination is profit maximization now firm b enters the market at a lower price than oc1 assuming that firm a will not reduce its price after this firm a also reduces the price in a similar manner as b did so a price war begins between the firms a and b this price war will go till the price reaches oc2 at this price both the firms will sell their capacity outputs that is oa2 and ob2 here firm a will earn o c2 e a2 profit whereas the firm b will earn o c2 f b2 profit but as per edgeworth we cannot consider o c2 as a stable price point because either firm can raise its price to o c1 to earn monopoly profits the other firm will follow it to raise price little above o c2 to earn more profit thus a price war will begin between the two firms a and b so the price will vary between c1 and c2 this is what the edgeworth explained in this model so this was all in today's lecture session thank you